Armor. Throughout the history of mankind, the struggle with armor is finding the right balance between hardness and flexibility. After all, hardness and flexibility are on opposite sides of the spectrum. The harder something is, the less flexible it is, and vice versa. Take a piece of metal or steel. It's quite hard and it'll protect you from a blunt blow, but it doesn't bend very much. On the other hand, consider a piece of leather. Leather is very flexible, but it doesn't give much protection from a sword attack. This is the struggle of warfare in every age. How to create armor with a strong defense while still giving the wearer the flexibility to move around. However, there already exists the perfect armor, worn by none other than a famous superhero. The Black Panther! I mean, just look at that Black Panther suit! I did a little research and I found out that this suit is near indestructible, capable of withstanding both bullets and bombs. At the same time, it still provides total flexibility to the wearer, as is evidenced by the way the Black Panther hops around with gymnastic flourish. But here's what I'm confused about. Why is he based off of the Black Panther animal? Out of all the creatures in the animal kingdom, the panther exhibits nothing of the qualities of having a strong and flexible armor. But there is another creature, a very special creature, that God has created which does have an intricately designed defense that rivals that of the Black Panther suit. Don't know what I'm referring to? It is none other than a fish! Yes, the carp! Of all the creatures on this earth, it is the carp that can boast of having a strong but flexible defense. What's a carp, you ask? It's that common greenish brown fish that lives in the mud at the bottom of ponds and lakes. It's so easy to disregard this literal bottom feeder fish because, well, their looks are not eye-catchingly outstanding. However, if we simply look a little closer, you'll be amazed by what lies beneath. Imagine this carp is swimming through the waters, gracefully swinging to and fro as it glides forward. It can make a sh quick sharp turn to catch its prey or to escape a predator. How does it do that? Well, the armor it wears is in the form of a whole array of scales. These individual scales allow the fish to bend its body with great flexibility to move any which way it would want to. But all of a sudden, there comes a predator, catching the carp unaware. The predator opens its jaws wide and bites into the side of the carp. Oh no, is this the end of the carp? Fear not, for now is when the magic happens. When all of the terrible teeth hit the scales, what the predator will find first is an incredibly hard outer shell, which prevents the teeth from piercing right through. Then all that force from the impact is absorbed by the elasmodine underneath. Elasmodine? Yes! Elasmodine is a type of mineral infused collagen that forms the multiple layers of the scales underneath the hard outer shell. These various layers are laid out in a rotated, double helix-like formation called a bulligand structure. So, when the predator bites down, these individual layers of mineral-rich collagen twist and rotate to absorb the impact. This process is accomplished by all the scales, each one twisting and turning in their own way to spread out all the force. What an amazing set of armor! The separated scales allow the fish astonishing flexibility to fly through the water. The outer shell of each scale prevents the teeth of predators from piercing through. And then, each individual layer of the elasmodine for each scale twists and rotates to absorb all of the impact. Everything works both individually and together to form this beautiful system. Wow! The complexity of God's design leaves us in awe. Let us marvel at how the Lord has not only put each scale into place, but also each layer in each scale. The probability of all this coming together through evolution is, in the words of the offensive line, practically impossible. It's not merely just the scale that needs to be created, but each part of this system must come together as a whole. Even now, researchers are trying to mimic this level of complexity in their own designs for building materials. Because after all, God's way is the best way. That's all we have time for today, but we hope that the carp can cause you to worship our amazing God because creation is cool, but the Creator is even cooler. See you next time!